When the idea of fast fusion came along, the, uh, the technology for the weld cooling was, was significant, but we also knew that we needed to package it into a unit that would bring a commercial aspect to the marketplace. And our number one issue with how conventional fusion joins pipe today is the fact that they have to lift the pipe, carry the pipe, they have to drag or pull the pipe um, to make a fusion weld. There are, are large pieces of equipment on the right of way in the fusion process. There's the fusion equipment itself, and then there's the labor that goes with that. And as we looked at, at how we would make it more safe, we also were looking at how do we become much more efficient in, in how pipe is handled itself and how the fusion process itself is made. And that's when we came up with the idea of the large tracked equipment. Being able to create a very safe and a very controlled environment, both for the operator and their own safety aspects of it, as well as just controlling the cab environment for how the fusion welds can be made itself. A primary design focus is one person operation, one person accountability, one person in control of the machine at all times so that there's not distractions. And then the other part that we all have to recognize is that the amount of training that has to go into this process. Yes, we're weld cooling, but we also spend a significant amount of time teaching people how to correctly weld the pipe under the parameter given. If it's an ISO parameter or it's an ASTM parameter, we have to make certain that people are welding underneath those parameters.